This is the save point. But da 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 da. And just just so you know, you killed me. You killed me with that. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was amazing. Thanks. Uh, yeah, what? when you came in with the da 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 thing. Yeah, in chat, <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Um, but yo, thank, welcome everybody to episode twenty three of the Safe Point, titled "Omni Man is a Good Dad." Great dad. And look, that might that might be subjective to most. I mean, right. uh, but I'm here. I'm here to defend it. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm one of your hosts, right. Mondo. <laughs> Chocolate the <Mangu. laughs> and uh, my other host, my co-host Alyssa Rosa. What's up, Alyssa? Hey. What's up? What's up? Omni Man for president. I was just about to say, how do you feel about Omni Man? Indifferent. Look, uh, interesting. You gotta like interesting yes. characters, you know? Yes. Uh, really <laughs> indifferent. <laughs> Yeah, very uh, indifferent. Uh, very indifferent. I mean, you got you also got to take into account Alyssa likes villains, so I do. Um, you know, even though it's debatable whether he really is and t- like a villain, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you if you're a human and you and you and you need to look at it that way, then yeah, I guess he is a villain. I like him. I like him, but I, I think I like him because he sticks to who he is. And like, you can tell that he's been brainwashed by his people, mm-hmm. you know, ultimately. But um, in the moment, was I rooting for Mark to beat his dad's ass? Yes, mm-hmm. of course I was. Yeah. Like, it's just it's just like you don't want to see that happen, you know, regardless. Um, I can't say like I'm on Omni-Man's team, but I will say that I, I do like him. Yeah. yeah. I do like him. He's a good potential bad guy uh i think (sighs) from his perspective he's not really wrong about anything you know like he is from another planet he is of another people uh the way he told mark like yo bro you're gonna live for hundreds of years like all of these people are like a blip in the grand scheme of like your life um and I was like, damn, that's kind of that kind of that's kind of real. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, is he wrong for like thinking that like humans are just merely pets to him? You know what I mean? Like that was kind of that was kind of fucked up. It hurts, you know, it hurts to hear that. Uh, I'm gonna. I said it to Mondo. I that's where he kind of like I really was like fuck you like in that moment because I have towards <laughs> Omni Man, but when he literally said that his the woman that he loves is a pet like he considers her a pet i love perdiza to me yeah but she, speaking she's of like, she's not your, you know she's not your wife yeah, you know yeah. she's not wifey you're right you're right but like i just think it was that was the moment where i was like oh no i said i literally said that. i said oh shit fuck you yeah. as a woman i said fuck you that shit was real that shit hurt me <laughs> yeah um, I, yeah no, no no i that that one that one stung i was like ooh. I was like, oh, yeah. I think she cried too in that moment. She, yeah. Yo, I. Yeah. Also, I see Cecil, I see him, being there for her. Oh yeah, oh, he's trying to get in. He, he said, baby, I, yeah, yeah, come yeah. here, baby. Come here, baby girl. <laughs> I can be your man. Yeah, he was yeah. literally sliding in her DMs. Yeah, slide, yeah, sliding them things. Yeah, I peeped Cause him. Because he, he's not wrong. Omni Man, I don't, I, I really don't think Omni Man gives a fuck about his wife. I genuinely don't. But, oh, he doesn't. Um, no. I don't even think he would care if Cecil did that. I, at first, it's like a little like, dude, what are you doing? But I don't think he gives a shit. Yeah. Um, no. I don't know. Uh, what about? The, I mean, what about the rest of the episode? I, Amber tried to come back. I mean, let me just let me just get that out of the way. Fuck Amber. <laughs> Literally on the doc, so people know, I have Amber with like this fucking face of like, I hate this bitch, but. <laughs> She's whack. She's whack. Oh, I knew yeah. you were a superhero. What? Like, where where are you coming from with this? And then she sees him almost get his ass beat again. Well, he got his yeah. ass beat, but he almost dies again. And she's like, "I'm so sorry." And just kisses <laughs> like, Bro, let me take take the wheel, please. Yo, word, word. Team Eve. We we team yes, Eve over we here. Team Eve. And we probably wouldn't say that, but 
you know, Amber is just a lot. She's wilding right now. She's wilding. Wilding for respect. Uh, yeah. Jess is not wrong. There's so much to dis- dissect from that episode. Honestly, like, what do we think about, like, his true Ami Men's true intentions? Like, uh, like it's, it's not oh. just, like... Uh, yeah. Well, I, let me let me just say that I was, you know, I was right. That I knew he oh, was yeah. lying. And I knew it was tied Mondo to some was- fucking, like taking over the world type shit yeah um i just didn't know what it like what it really meant Uh, because we still don't know what he really means like oh you know they can accept being part of like the the legion what the fuck does that even mean like like yeah i don't believe in lesser beings yeah yeah the way he described it was like they just annihilated themselves because they were bored like that's exactly how they (laughs) and they were like we have to take out the weak well i mean humans are going to be weak because they don't have powers yeah and in retrospect mark if he was a part of that time he would have gotten killed too because he's weak in comparison yeah especially to his dad no his dad was beating his ass bro i i didn't you <laughs> i was i was waiting for like that like anime moment you know like where he like mm-hmm. breakthroughs like where like goku goes super saiyan or like Tanjiro, like you know, yeah. kiss that water blade for the first time. Or like, happen. or like Naruto comes out and he's got his like, he got he's got his uh, he's got his sage dance and shit. But like, nope, nothing like that happened. My man got his ass beat. He couldn't breathe. He, Bre- he was he, like Tanjiro was in the beat. movie. He was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh, we're gonna talk about that too. Yeah, we are. Um, his dad beat his ass, and honestly. We talk about, you know, a lot of people experience deadbeat dads. I feel like this is the ultimate deadbeat father. He said, I don't give a fuck. I'll kill you right now. I'll just go make another one. Yep. I said, What's 17 years? Damn, that fucking's crazy. That's literally what he said. He said, What is 17 years of I got plenty to spare? Yeah. Excuse me? Like, that's the last thing I want to hear my father or my mother say to me. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of fucked up. Uh, it, it, yeah. it, again, yo, like, it, it just speaks to, like, like it's his true. truth, you know? like And, like, yeah. his truth is that he's from another planet. And, like, I don't you mean don't anything. Mean. Like, he, I came here for a bigger purpose than than, than yeah. you measly fucks. Um, yeah, he's like, it's actually nauseating that I have to even do half the shit that I have to do for y'all. Yeah. Yeah, but I... It's but like n- that. But now I wonder why does he need Mark though? That 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 never became clear. Why like, he needs Mark? Yeah, because he needs I Mark. Think help, I think he needed Mark to help him with taking over Earth. He could do that because shit himself. I, it seems like it. I guess, but like he would. I mean, yeah, he could probably do it on his own. But like, uh, did he plan to have Mark? Did he say that? I think so. I, mean, I think he kind I of mean, hinted he, at it. Yeah, because he said, oh, I could just have another kid. So, I mean, if he feels like that, then then he must have wanted to have Mark then, right? Like, that must have been an yeah. intention. For sure. He almost died against the Guardians of the Globe. Who? Almost died. Yeah. But, I mean, and it's clear the new Guardians of the Globe wouldn't even be able to stand a chance no, against where, Iron Man. Where, yeah, yeah. He, he, killed the, he killed the top. Like, he took off the top. Yeah, he killed off the top people. Was, I thought what was interesting was the alien guy who came back at the end and was just like, there's a Viltrumite on your planet and you need to be careful because he will, the person will kill everybody. I said, oh, well, you're a little too late. <laughs> you're a little too late. <laughs> oh, God. I thought that was funny, actually. I wonder if they'll bring a mortal back. Yeah people to even put a debt in him yeah that's the truth they need more they they need more people but they also need people who are strong like no offense to the new golden peoples but they are <laughs> so for the, the new, guardians peoples I, I keep i keep wanting to say globe trotters i'm like new, new. <laughs> call them the golden globes <laughs> um i don't think they're strong enough I mean, it's clear Mark is not even that strong. So yeah, and he's a Vil- and he's a Viltrumite. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be the next the next coming. Damn, I, I, it's crazy. I, 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 part of me had it in like a hope that this would be like Mark's coming out party this episode, but then like just, just cool. knowing, yeah, just knowing that, like how the show is, mm-hmm. I was like, nah. He's. I was like, this is not gonna go well. <sighs> Kind of sucks. It is what it is. I think it was yeah. a great episode, though. 
but I still think episode seven was better though. Oh yeah, for sure. We were episode we were seven was really it. good. Yeah. We were talking about it um through text, and I was just saying like, I mean, the ending was kind of like. And I said I felt like the ending, just in case they didn't get picked up for season two or three, um, although they are, just for people who didn't know, um, they it was a it was a good way to like end it. I felt like mm-hmm. just like an open ended situation where it's like there's possibilities for something else, or if it ends, just you could pick up the comic and continue to read type stuff. Yeah, no. But they did get good. confirmed for season two and season three. I'm really hyped for that. Yeah, shout out to Amazon. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna read that comic though. I yeah, I'm lie. sure. I've been hearing that like it's like we've been hearing that it's like not the same or like they cut corners or cut things out. So mm-hmm. yeah, this is a bit it seems, but mm-hmm. we'll see. We'll see how that how that works out. I, I just yeah. want I need the full story now. That's how I feel. Like yeah, this is, it's it's too good. It's too too good. Um, Navi's high, 149 chapters. That's not bad. That's like uh, reading The Promised Neverland. It is a quick read. Yeah, it's not too crazy. Uh, I wonder if they're long chapters though, like on some uh, some Attack on Titan. Then that's something different, you know. It's a little different. <laughs> 22 pages. Nah, that's like a regular. Yeah, 22 okay. pages is like like my hero type. Yeah. yeah. Oof, because man, Gosh. that Attack on Titan was that, that shit was like, like novels. Page. Yeah. I would have read it. And then I was like, every chapter is 40 to 50 pages. Y'all could keep it. Crazy. Nuts. I'll just look from afar. They got time. They got time over there. They definitely have time. <laughs> um, sure. is, that it? is that it for Invincible? I mean, I guess, yeah. There's not much, you know, the future of Earth versus the Filtramites. It's like very, you should be scared, I guess. And that's it. Hey, w- w- also, what's your, what's your overall impression of like season one? Like if you had to give it like a one to ten, because like, everybody everybody's like, yo, that's one of the best season ones I've like seen. Yeah, I think a ten. I think it was a great way to get us introduced to the world, but also just like keep us watching. I really just hope that like they don't um, they don't mess up in future seasons. I feel like sometimes when you put put your all into season one and it's like full force. Oh my god, I love this season two and three have a lot to live up to. Mm -hmm. And so um, I heard from a little birdie that the production was really rough on the people that worked on it. So I just hope that like uh, they definitely handle that better, but also it's just great execution in the end. That's what I say. How about you? Uh, 10. Amazing. Amazing. It was such a good show. I think that was one of the best season ones like I've seen. Yeah. Uh, a lot of yeah. best. Yeah, like a lot of best. Like it's just good. It's yeah. good. I walked out I walked away from that feeling the way I did when I saw uh when I saw The Boys. The Boys was another mm. like good one that like really grabbed me. And I was like, "Fuck, yeah. this is really good." I still uh, have to watch that. Yeah. Uh oof. Yo, if you like this, you're gonna <laughs> love the boys. No, you're not gonna like the boys. You're gonna love the boys. The boys I wonder is so when it's good. coming back for season two. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect it this year. Maybe, uh, maybe next right. year. Next year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's another thing we were talking about too. Like, don't expect Invincible back. Uh, within maybe within a year, but I would literally give it like 2022 at least because it takes a long time to make these things. So yeah, they may wait. Or they may not wait. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. Um, all right. So, uh, I mean, yo, speaking of Sony, let's jump into PlayStation and sure, sure. Uh, their 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 state of play. Uh, it was yo. I, I showed up late to it, right? And I was like, all right, cool. This is gonna be like another twenty <laughs> minutes or whatever. And I texted you, and I was like, yo, did I miss anything? And by the time you like text me back, and I was about to reply, that shit was over. I was like, damn, but I did go back and watch it and yeah. yo, Ratchet and Clank looks really, really good. Like really, really good. Like I'm not even interested in getting it, but I might have to. I don't That's know. That's what I said. I was like, I'm not interested. I wasn't going to play it at all, but I don't know. It seems like that PS5 game. Uh, and if like for this year, at least like even like, cause yeah. what's the other one? Horizon. But we haven't even heard anything about Horizon. Oh, we have. That's what I thought. That's what I 
That's what, so anyways, this state of play was like, kind. I don't want to say whatever to me, but all right. Uh, that Nautica game. That's cool. Okay, there's people, there's fans. I was actually waiting in line to get my return on, and I saw that on the rack, and I was like, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Among Us coming to PS4, that's cool. And, PS4, uh, yeah. I mean, PS5, sorry. Yeah. Both. Uh, it's both. Um, and, yeah, uh, fucking Ratchet and Clank looks really, really good. Like, really, yeah. really good. Um, and I have, I have thoughts about Ratchet and Clank, uh, but... What did you think? But I, I thought I, I thought, thought it, it was, was really short. You know? Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was cool to like see. It was very intriguing. I thought, you know, the seamless transitions between like what's a cutscene and then what's considered gameplay was really good. It reminded me of Spider-Man, honestly, just like a, a lot better. Uh, at least the first Spider-Man 2018. I won't say that about Miles Morales because I haven't played it. But um, it was just like crisper, um, and I. I still feel the same way that this was like the perfect game to like show that off with because a lot of people, a lot of kids will get this game. A lot of people know Ratchet and Clank and it's a classic. So like mm -hmm. they could have did this with Jack and Daxter, Spyro, Crash. It would have sold well because it's just so, it's it's a, um, a memorable IP, I guess. Yeah. So I thought it was really cool to like see and like to warp everything. I was like, and then there's a photo mode, mm -hmm. which is very um, important you know, popular these days. I thought the coolest thing I've seen from a game, to, like people talking about a game like on an event was like the accessibility features. I don't think a lot of people usually go into that. And mm -hmm. I think it's cool that they did. They let people know there's so many ways, like for anybody it's accessible for you to play. And I thought it was cool, but it, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks yeah. really good. Um, and yeah, I think I'm playing Returnal now. And it's, mm -hmm. it's good. Like, it's a good game. And I think this is like, like a, like a taste of next gen. But like, Returnal? I think, yeah, Returnal. Yeah. But I think like, Ratchet and Clank is still going to be like the first PS5 game that right. like, is going to be like jaw dropping. It's going to be like, wow, this is what we're going to like, this is what we're getting from this now on. This is the future. Yeah, this yeah. is the future. Um, and I have thoughts about like the game in the sense of like, Insomniac also makes Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And so I find it really interesting that they're making a story that they've made a Ratchet and Clank game with two parallel characters playing mm -hmm. when the next game that they're going to make is probably potentially going to have two parallel characters playing with one another. Whereas Spider-Man and Miles Morales and Spider-Man 2. And I'm just wondering how much from Ratchet and Clank we're going to see in the new Spider-Man. Mm, that's a good question. I felt like watching the that last trailer for Ratchet and Clank, it just felt like I was watching Spider-Man. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you've played the game, you understand, like, the atmosphere was similar. The, the voices in the background, I was like, I just don't even remember Ratchet and Clank being like that. Like, mm -hmm. just, like, having casual conversations. Um, so I can definitely, I mean, I guess, yeah, maybe. I think they have to do a full game for Miles regardless, because it's what people want. Yeah. Well, I mean, so, he's definitely going to be, in, he's got to be in the next Spider-Man game. Like. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? You're right. Yeah. We don't know. I, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if he was. I yeah. think it would be a good marketing standpoint. Yeah. I mean, he was in the first one, and like. Yeah. That was obviously like a, like a small introduction to him. I think mm -hmm. I like it because like it made him getting a game a little more special because you had already played mm -hmm. as him and like he probably and like he probably left that thinking to yourself damn wish he was actually Spider-Man when I was playing him you know yeah uh, and then know, they, ga and then they like, gave it to you and then they gave it to you uh, yeah. so I, I like that about it um, yeah. all right um, what else what, what else about it uh, I don't really know that's that's about it that's, that's all it. I spoke about yeah, yeah. and then just for monthly games for anyone who's interested uh for playstation their free games for may are battlefield i think five uh stranded deep and wreckfest i don't even know what the last two are and they should be available on ps plus this coming week um yeah terrible month terrible month they, they haven't been having good months ever since but uh since like well, last month last, last month they had final fantasy right i think that was march 
That was March? Oh, yeah, I think that was March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that yeah. was March. I don't know what last months were, but... Mm. Whatever. Yeah, I, I don't really... I don't, even, I don't even look at the PS Plus games. They're like, whatever. I, I redeem them, and that's it. Right, exactly. And that's it. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. You're That's not, pretty much not gonna catch me slipping, not redeeming them, you know. Right. Uh, goodness forbid, I'm stranded one day. Good gosh. <laughs> and all you got is a PS4 and uh, and your PS Plus games or your PS5 and right. PS Plus games. Uh, all right, cool. Um, sure. Before we stray off of um, Sony, I I'll talk about The Last of Us. <laughs> oh, The Last of Us Three potential. Yeah. 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 yeah so th- I think this week uh, Naughty Dog was definitely trending again for uh, on Twitter. Um, but this time it was because there was a report out. I forget who wrote it, uh, but they were talking about the next installment for The Last of Us and that there is already an outline someone that wrote for um, the game has. But as we know, they're focusing on remaking The Last of Us, the first one for PS5. Um, and personally, I don't. I, I, I feel like... I mean, I'm not going to talk about the remake, but just as like a third installment to the game, I felt like they're it's open ended, so they could, as long as it follows Ellie, I will be happy with that. If it doesn't, I don't know that I care. Mm-hmm. What I'll say, and I think when you went on to see what people were talking about, people were literally talking about Ellie. So there's more people that are just concerned with like following her versus like following someone brand new, which they most likely could do um but i just also don't know if there's a story to tell you know yeah. it's a for her at least on her end if there's like anything else she could possibly do or say she lost oh i don't want to ruin it because you never played it but no, she lost suppose. someone and mm-hmm. you know she, she loses people just like everyone would in that scenario and uh yeah okay yeah yeah i'm um- I'm just yeah. like, all right, The Last of Us, another The Last of Us, you know? <laughs> right. And I'm still stuck on one, and I can't even mm-hmm. get through that. You know what? That's going to be the next game. It's going to be one of the next games. Oh, boy. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Because I'm, I'm actually, like, I'm really fucking with Horizon now. It's a yeah. little, it's still a little more stealthy than I like, but mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, learning, I'm learning how to get around it. And the story's getting really good. So, yeah. Yeah. Still that's, in the beginning. That's turning around for me. Yeah, it's a good game. Yeah, I'll uh, just I'll believe it when I see it. The so. what? That I beat it? Or that you? No, not Horizon. Oh. <laughs> the Last of Us. The Last of Us. Oh. It's the same thing with Resident Evil Two. You're like, I'm gonna I'm gonna replay that. I'm like, I I, I, I do gotta install that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, yeah. he's been saying he's gonna install it for like three weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> Keep forgetting. <laughs> uh, all right, what do, you, what do you want to get into next? Um, no, let's Mario. talk. Yeah, I was about to say, let's talk about Mario. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I don't know for anyone who cares, <laughs> Super Mario Party, uh, the late, the last one, is online. I saw Just tweeting about yeah. this and how upset she was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they they're announcing like an online service, which I think is really really cool because obviously if you play Super Mario Party, it's just better with other people versus by yourself. And having an online aspect is really good. I can't say that I played this game that much. I definitely have the game, but mm-hmm. I just didn't play it a lot because it's Mario Party. If I don't have a party, why the heck would I play it? <laughs> Basically. Um, and I think that's it. I'm not gonna pick it back up to test it out with anyone. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't. I think, you know, if Jess was on, she'd read them to Phil. So, <laughs> I just know like a lot of people didn't like it because like the maps and everything like that they weren't as cool as they've been in the past. But um, I think it's cool that it has an online option though. Yeah, I think that's great. I'm not gonna pick <laughs> it back up, and I think like it's been like two years since that game came out. Yeah, like now you updated with online. <laughs> But they don't uh, want to give you your Zelda games. No, no, I'm the, that's <laughs> neither here nor there. Two different things. But like, I don't know. I think it's pretty. I not that I think it's dumb. I think it's. I think it's a good idea that they did it mm-hmm. because like it's a feature that it's needed. I just think it's mm-hmm. dumb that we're talking about this today and not talking about this True. like a year ago. Imagine, imagine Mario Party. Party Online in the middle of the pandemic. 
that could have took off. That could have been or something. Even if you were launching a new game from like if you're like according to Jess, uh, you can't make a lackluster game and then call it Super Mario Party. Uh, but I think if you made a new Mario Party game and then you announced, oh hey, it also is, you could play it with your friends online. That'd be different too, you know, <laughs> like. No, that, but, that that would have meant a lot. I I because I bought yeah. it and I was like, wait, you can't play this online. Like I was like, you said, yeah. what am I gonna play with? <laughs> I was like, it's like 2019, bro. Like what the right. fuck? Like, right. ugh, disgusting, just disgusting. I hope they learn from their mistakes for the next one. Does Nintendo ever learn from their mistakes? No. That no. is the question at hand. No. Do um, they even see them as mistakes? No. 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 <laughs> they still think they're going to benefit from it probably because the pandemic is still happening in other areas and serious like especially like Japan it's mm -hmm. still like a thing thing not that it's not a thing here it is it's very much a thing here but you know a lot of Americans every day are getting vaccinated and so it's just our lives are a little bit more different now than they were literally a year ago so, yeah. Um, yeah Animal no, Crossing is still superior it changed my mind I can't you're not wrong yeah, Animal Even Crossing. Even though I haven't touched that game in like, I might, I might. Uh, I'm gonna go to DR. The only thing I'm taking with me is my Switch. Switch. Mm -hmm. I was like, do a little, do a little Animal Crossing while I'm out there. An Octopath. Yo, I was wondering. I was wondering what game I was gonna play out there. I was like, yo, I could beat a game while I'm out there. Like that's the kind of time I'm gonna have. Yeah. Uh, and I could beat Octopath. Wow. Okay, cool. You're Thanks. Welcome. Thanks for that. I appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just yo, trying to help him. Trying to get that backlog, y'all. Just. Yo, listen. It we're conquering it. We're getting yeah. through it. We're getting through it. How many games now? How many games? Like five, six. Uh, what for the year? Yeah. No, we're like at eleven. Eleven. Let's go. Eleven. Yeah. Horizon would be twelve. Yeah. I don't even know who you are anymore. I know, I know. Crazy. Insert that Kiki Palmer meme. <laughs> I, don't I don't know this man. man. <laughs> I've never seen this man in a day in my life. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. Um yeah, you know what? Let's let's talk about Demon Slayer. Let's get this out of the way. The elephant in the room. Um Maybe. Yeah, sure. We um yeah, if you haven't watched the Demon Slayer movie and you don't want you don't want to hear us talking about this. Uh, this is your opportunity to mute us, stop listening, fast forward. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, we're going to talk about the young god, <sighs> Ren Goku. Um, May he rest in sweet peace. Yo, know, crazy. Kind of crazy. Like, mm -hmm. they just brought him in, badass motherfucker. And then and brought him out. Killed him in the same <laughs> movie. That's just, that shit hurts. Um <clears throat> <laughs> Rengoku san. <laughs> um, I, it was a really good movie. Um, it was amazing. Uh, from beginning to end, uh, it had the right amount. It had the right amount of everything all mm -hmm. all together. And just the way they told the story was 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 really good. Um, I think I thought the pacing of the movie was really good. I never yeah. felt like I never felt like I was in any in one part of the movie for too long. Um, yeah. Uh, damn, I don't know. I don't know. Really, I really enjoyed the movie. I really enjoyed the it movie. It was amazing. It yeah. was really cool. Um, like you said, from start to finish, shout out to UFO Table for slamming animation too, because my God, that was a flex. That was, honestly, it was mm -hmm. probably, I was going to say, the best animation I've seen for an anime, mm -hmm. like in movie form at mm -hmm. least, because I haven't seen a lot of anime movies um, in regards to like, you know, the bigger shonens that are out. And it was just amazing to watch, amazing to see. For those who don't know, uh, Mondo saw it, saw it subbed, I saw it dubbed, and then we're gonna do the reverse. Reverse. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna reverse yeah. it, cause I need to see it subbed, I'm sorry. This is yeah. the first time I'm probably gonna say that, but I need, oh yeah, I did. Yes, I, yeah, I did. I saw it dubbed with some peeps. It was really good. Yeah. You know, the young thunder god, I do. <laughs> Um, yes, he's a very yeah. nice person. He did a great job, uh, for those who are wondering if you want to see it dubbed. He definitely doesn't scream as much as Zenitsu does in the Japanese voice. Um, but yeah, I saw it with him, 
Nezuko and the demon that ends up ending Rengoku's life. So it was pretty, pretty gnarly. Um, and I love, oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I know you guys are just like, oh, RIP, I'm crying, Rengoku. But that demon, like, come on. Like, you guys, you guys have to admit that demon, like, he, he's good. Can we call him the number three demon? <laughs> Yeah, we've gone the number three name. I know his name is like Akaza or something. Nope, nope, do not. (laughs) Bye, Alyssa. Guys, he, listen. Yeah, Akaza. Yeah, yeah, he tried to tell them. He he tried to tell them. He was like, listen, listen. Like, you should just become a demon because we can do this all the time. You're not that strong yet. You should get stronger. And we can do this all the time. He knew. He was ending his life. He knew it. He knew it. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you hate you hate it how to be him. <clears throat> I mean, I guys, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna lie. I, I was gonna be upset if Rango if Rengoku killed him. I really was. We just met. We just exchanged numbers, names, identification. <laughs> We had a like he asked me out on a date. I said yes. So if my man died, hate that it had to be you guys' man, but it was it couldn't be mine. Couldn't have been mine. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I haven't said, but we're okay with Rengoku getting Goku. What did I Listen. say before we went live? Yeah, yeah. I know you said the same thing. Uh, but yo, like. Uh, hate it had to be him. Um, for sure. I was, I, it's so crazy though, because I was building up this feeling of like, yo, he's about to, he's about to teach my son Tanjiro some mm-hmm. stuff. That's what's up. We about to get in. <laughs> and he did like, you know, teach a him like bit. a little bit while they were together, which I thought was, all right, cool. Um, but damn, I, I was building up that hope. And then once this motherfucker shows up, once that demon shows up, I'm like, it, it all hit me like at once. I was like, oh, wow, that's right. Rengoku dies. Like eventually, like I just remember <laughs> yeah. like someone tell, telling me that and it being related to like the train thing. And I was like, oh, fuck, he's about to die. And I was like, it's a dub. <laughs> and I was like, damn, <laughs> just I was munching on my popcorn. I was like, oh, yeah, damn. He said, Fucking. he said, I don't want to. I, I just I can't do it. It hurts too good. Yeah, hate it had to be him. Hate it had to be a real one. Yeah. Um, I thought I thought the, I thought the plot was really interesting, and I also liked the other demon, uh, the demon that had taken over the train. Oh yeah, uh, En Enmu En Enmu. Not sure, but I I have it on the thing, but like I looked it up just so that I had the names correct. But uh, yeah, I liked that demon too. Um, I don't know how they sounded in the Japanese voice, but. In the English one, it was giving me Hisoka vibes from Hunter Hunter. Um, very yeah, and uncomfortable. Mu. Very uncomfortable. Lots of moaning. Okay. Lots of moaning in the English voice, but you know what? Okay. Did a good job. <laughs> Did a good job. Yeah. Now, uh, this was a this was a great. This is just a great. Uh, great movie. story. Yeah, great movie. Yeah. Great story. I like I like how Nezuko uh, mm-hmm. comes just in time, um, yeah. get and gets her shit done. Uh, yeah. And I liked uh, I, I liked I liked the way they were doing the dreams and how they were like yeah. like really indicative of who they were and stuff like that. Uh, mm-hmm. Which is the whole point, I guess. The demon was talking through it and stuff, but I thought it was Levi really good. Was in it. Did you see Levi from Attack on Titan? He was in. <laughs> You saw him, right? He had tuberculosis in this one. But. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. That's mad fucked up. Uh, but yeah, yo, but when Levi gets to, like, the promised land. Oh, yeah. Like, he's like, what? And he's like, yo, and like, y'all brought me here? And they're like, but what? And he's like, oh, man. He's like, you're no, such a good person. He's like, I can't do yeah. this shit. Yeah. Man, crazy. Changed his whole life. Changed his life. I thought that um, was thought that was really that that thought that was really cool. Yeah, I think <laughs> the only thing that kind of shocked me was that they didn't humanize the basically the demon that was taking mm-hmm. over the train. That yeah. was like the first time we never like we've ever seen them not do that. And I, was, I wonder if it's just because 
they that part like that demon was always like i couldn't tell if they were male or female so i just or the male binary, so i just want to say they but um i i couldn't tell if like that's just because that's who they truly were you know it's just evil and but it was the first time like that they ever when it came to demons anyway and them dying that they didn't yeah they, yeah they didn't like have like this like remorse story. yeah give mm-hmm. us this remorse yeah 100 percent. that is interesting because I, I i was wondering if we were gonna see that in the movie and we did too yeah wow okay okay i didn't yeah. even pick up on that that's a really good point i also want to highlight uh the bond between tanjiro and inosuke i'm a big inosuke mm-hmm. fan out of like all three of them and i thought it was so cool that like they didn't give tanjiro all like the shine the whole time obviously inosuke is like i'm the head head honcho i'm the one in charge but like if it wasn't for inosuke tanjiro was gonna end his life by accident because he thought he was dreaming yeah that shit was crazy like, yeah inosuke was like stop he's he's like fucking with you you need to chill like and i just felt like it was a great story like character development for inosuke because he does things based off instinct a lot but like he was actually looking out for his homeboy um he did have hella screen time. I thought it was going to be more Zenitsu because I feel like Tanjiro and Zenitsu mm-hmm. have more of like a better bond. So I really like that they shed it light on my baby boy because he deserves it. Yeah, he, he did. He sure. did end up like coming around towards the end of the movie. Like even when like, <laughs> he was uh, crying. yeah, yeah. When he started crying and stuff like that. And yeah, you know, like saying like, yeah, you're the boss, but I'm the boss too. Like, yeah, yeah. like acknowledging like, yeah, he's below him, but. Um, I think that's cool for I think that's good for his char- his character because this character definitely yeah. needs some humbling. Uh, <laughs> he yeah, I mean I don't know if you remember in season one when they were fighting the spiders in the mm-hmm. forest, but I think that was like his first realization of like I'm not as strong as I thought I was. Mm-hmm. And then out of nowhere, you know, he just you know he just realized that. And instead this time around, he has a different outlook. He's like, we mm-hmm. just have to train harder so that we can defeat demons like that. Yeah. And I think that's really cool that like. It had to be him to teach him versus like Zenitsu. Um, his sister can't talk, so there's that. He was <laughs> crying harder than them. Poor sweet baby boy. I'm sorry, but I started la- I, as he was dying. I was just cracking up, but it was because Inosuke was just there and his body was shaking. He was like, so I was in tears laughing. I didn't cry, unfortunately. I'm and you and you were rooting for the other side, low key. I just didn't want that demon to die. No, I just really liked the demon. I didn't want I didn't want Ren, uh, Rengoku to die either. I just knew one of them had to, and it had to be him because it wasn't going to be the guy that I just met. <laughs> so <laughs> everybody else going to have to suffer. I get to be happy. I also thought it would be too easy if they killed that. Yeah, if they killed demon, that. Yeah. And then they killed the top, one of the top three demons. Like absolutely not. Yeah, I thought that would have been too easy too. One hundred percent. And then the crow crying. I'm sorry. Like they just, yeah, they missed a mark. But that shit shouldn't have happened. Because you're supposed to be crying in that moment. But how can I? There's a there's a crow crying. <laughs> <laughs> there's a crow crying. <laughs> Not My impressed. Only is, where did he come from? Like it just felt so random. I also felt the same way. I was like, what the? I thought it was over. And I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. Is this, who's this Sukuna 2.0? Do we got a girl? Does he like girls? <laughs> uh, all right. Anything else? Uh, anything else to say? I'm, so, I'm sorry. Um. Uh. Next time someone dies, just let them die immediately. I didn't need his whole backstory. As he died. As he died. That's a lot. I think we didn't know enough about him. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, he's a good guy. Manga, right? Yeah, if you read the manga, yeah. yeah. I thought they were gonna like shed too much light on that from here. Yeah, I think they're like you said, they're gonna like they're probably gonna do like a quick flashback of like the movie, like just of like some Maybe. happenings of it. Um, Maybe because I think from didn't you say that like he? I know that like in the manga, he I I was told I heard or if it was you, someone said that like he dies at the hands of the same demon yeah I yeah just it's just yeah. unrelated to the train stuff yeah yeah so i was wondering if like that's what, that's what brandon told i know me. they said it yeah i i know it's canon mm-hmm. and but the one shot came after the manga was finished so like i know it's canon to the story but i wonder how canon it'll be to the show itself mm-hmm. versus just like its own little thing 
Yeah. Um, yeah, I, w- I wonder where they're going to pick it up, too. It's going yeah. to be good, though. That's all I know. Mm-hmm. That's all I know. And I wonder how many episodes it'll be. This is what? The season one probably was like 20-something? Yeah, probably the same. It's a very popular mm-hmm. anime. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Demon cool. Slayer season two later this year. And um, Demon Slayer voice actor, Sunko. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yo. Oh, damn. All right. We'll, we'll actually bring that up again in the show. Um, I guess you, you want to talk about uh, Yasuke? Yeah. So for those who don't know, there's a new anime that came out, uh, Yasuke. And I guess this is kind of like first impressions. Mondo didn't get a chance to really like watch it, watch it. I've only seen like a, like a, the first episode and half of the second episode. But it's a historical like fantasy kind of because it's it's based on a true historical story of like a black samurai. Um, and I feel like it's the first samurai that like story of a samurai that like we get that's about a black character, mm-hmm. a black person, which I think is really important and it's cool, um, especially since people are since Afro that, samurai, like, but y- yeah, yeah, but yeah. yes, uh, I think it's um, just cool because like people don't usually think of like people of color, just black people in general, being into things like this. So it's mm-hmm. just really nice representation continued representation i'll say um and my first impressions really were like i think it's a good story for those who don't know mappa studios makes it thundercat does sing the theme song if you really enjoy thundercat's music yes and i think it's really good for those who like those type of stories it's not for me personally so i don't think i'll continue to watch it because i'm not like into like serious samurai stories or Mm -hmm. just like samurais i'm not into that um but i think it's really good and i and i suggest people watch it it's only six episodes so far so okay if you like it do it if you like it do it okay i like that i like it um i i yeah i have like you said i haven't gotten a chance to watch the show um but like you said i'm I'm glad that we have another black samurai and Yeah. yeah just more representation like like why can't black people be things? Uh, I think I, I saw I saw a tweet come across my timeline um, from uh, Black Girl Gamers, and like mm-hmm. they had a conversation about how like whenever we go back in time, like we go back in time to Vikings and and European like historical timelines. Like why can't we go back to like a historical Africa or like go back to Asia more often or go to Central South America and like do stories based on those people? Uh, yeah, and so yeah. Uh, yeah, i.e. not nice. predominantly white areas. Yeah, yeah. European areas. Yeah, it's just <clears> nice because we only have a f- like when you really think about it, we only have a few. Even if we're included, you know, and as a cast, that's why I feel like a lot of us like the Great Pretender because there's just like people that we see ourselves in, mm-hmm. um, and even Cowboy Bebop, mm-hmm. uh, Bleach. Bleach is another one. Um, very, very. The person who made that is very obsessed with like la- Latino. Mm-hmm culture so it's just really cool to like see yourself i guess and, yeah you know especially back then cause that's cool we're yeah just old so yeah 100 percent. yeah but yeah all right all right cool um well i think i think that's it i think i think we got through everything for today that was yeah. that was like a quick episode are that we sure quick. that that's everything <laughs> i mean you kind of already talked about returnal um, yeah resident evil comes out next week did I talk uh, about Returnal? Kind of. I don't know. You can if you want. In depth I think, if you want, because you're gonna you're gonna. I think we did. It. I think we spoke about it before we started the episode. Actually. Yeah. See. So see. Not. Yeah. You. You did when we were talking about uh, uh, PlayStation, but like oh, it was okay. just like kind of. So if yeah. You wanna, yeah. No. Just, I guess like, I'll give like a little week. a little impressions of it. Yeah. I, yeah. Go ahead. I like it. It's really. It's kind of difficult. It's just like you gotta just. Just gotta know like what when when to jump and like what to do and right. um, unfortunately like RNG plays its part too so um, depending on what guns you get or what what power ups you get or don't get um, can influence whether or not your run's gonna be good um, but uh, I like it I think it's fun and worth the sixty dollars seventy dollars seventy dollars sorry yeah um gosh you know that's <laughs> This is coming so interesting, especially as like Game Pass gets like better and stuff. 
Like once once new games start coming to Game Pass, like on a regular basis, it's gonna be interesting. Because uh, seventy dollars is gonna start feeling like That's a lot a of lot. money. It yeah. already is a lot of money. Yeah. For a video um, game. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's a good game. Shout cool. out! To, shout out to shout out to anybody who could beat that game. Uh, I can't <laughs> wait! I can't wait to start seeing those like success stories on the timeline. Because man, yeah. not easy at all. You were, he was comparing it to um, Hades on the level of difficulty, mm-hmm. um, which I think is pretty pretty cool. Hi, Amari. Um, and then I guess, uh, like I said, Resident Evil, there's a demo that got, goes live today for all platforms for those who want to play it. Uh, I'm very confused as to how it's going to work. I got an email saying I could play it until the game came out, but they're advertising it as differently. It's just mixing mixy mixy shit so i would say just play it if you can if you want to if you want to get a feel for the new resident evil village game but it comes out friday technically thursday uh but friday and i'll be streaming it on friday hey we're gonna be there and then last but not least uh as you guys know pokemon snap came out on friday uh it's navis was streaming it earlier on the vga channel which is you guys should you know definitely follow them on Twitch, like follow VGA on Twitch. Like, if you're you know, not, if you're not already. Yeah. He says the game is hard, but I wonder if it's because it's his first this real, first Pokemon Snap. Yeah. Yeah. First real interaction with Pokemon Snap or if it's just like a genuine like genuine consensus that it's Yo, hard. Ivan, can you, can you get in the Discord right now? To like just voice chat real quick? Not yeah, video, so you just can voice. tell us from your perspective. Me and Mondo did not pick this game up. I just felt like it wasn't at least for me, worth the sixty dollars. <laughs> um, but yeah. if it's on sale, maybe I don't know. I'm not like into Pokemon. <gasps> oh <Snap> shoot! Like <gasps> He's arrived. My bad. Yo, Ivan, can you hear? Wow, that was quick, right? Yeah, that yeah. was quick. That was quick. <laughs> um, what's good, homie? Me? Yeah, what's good? Thanks for thanks for hopping on. I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, can you hear me? yeah, I can yeah, hear you. Can, can you hear me? Can you hear I me? Can hear you guys. Guys. All right, cool. We can hear you. Let me see. Okay. You guys should hear me now. Sorry about that. I mean, yeah, I thought we could. No, you're fine, oh. bro. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My general consensus, it's a different game, obviously, right? Because it, it feels like, I think I, as I was talking to the stream, uh, it has a controls of like a first person shooter. I ended up figuring out how to change the, the settings so I can actually look faster. Mm-hmm. But like, there is such a... I joked with the with the audience like there's a certain level like, there's a certain level of uh of what the professor is looking for but you have to look at poses and you have to make sure that the Pokemon is centered and the bigger it is in the camera the better so you have more points or rather more stars I think by poses I think some a viewer was mentioning that to me so that was pretty cool um, but it's just a different it's it's not you know it's cool to like look at the new Pokemon look at them in their natural habitat you you feel like you're in Magic Kingdom I always kind of alluded to that but it's pretty sweet. It is is a different game, but I enjoy it. Okay, all right. And you didn't play the original Pokemon Snap, right? Never played it in my life. I think I saw it. I mean, this is obviously dating ourselves, but like back in the day <laughs> when Blockbuster came out, yeah. and you would see like those like demos and the you know in those stations. Mm-hmm. I never played it. I was like, this is just weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, something that something that uh, Jess has said in the chat while you were playing was uh, there w- there was a certain magic to that first Pokemon Snap since it was only like the first one fifty two. Like, I imagine, like, this Pokemon Snap's got to be, like, ginormous. Because is every Pokemon in there for you to take pictures of? I don't um, think so. No, no I don't, well, funny I don't enough, think so, it's yeah. Not. Yeah. It's like 152, right? It's about, like, 80-something, actually. Oh, really? Less than that? Okay. It's like 83 or something. But there are, like, because um, I was looking at the devs, and I think some people were data mining them. Mm-hmm. So they have, I think, about, like, 16 slots that are not revealed yet or that they plan on doing for future, like, you know, updates and mm-hmm. DLC releases. Which is which makes oh. sense. Obviously, that's now how like you know the you know that's how the gaming works now. Like you always want to keep uh, people coming back for more. You mm-hmm. don't know what they are, but I think it's like eighty three right now currently. That's crazy. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, but now nah, mm-hmm. that first one definitely had a little magic to it, and mm-hmm. I think even the way they just released that Pikachu printer for this new one, they had they definitely had a printer back then for the nine sixty four one. It's funny. Yeah, yeah it's kind of crazy. Yeah, and the Game Boy too, and it's impossible to find, of course. But it's funny because the Instamax, well, it's Instamax, right? So the Fujifilm printer, you have the one for the Switch, but you can get that same one without the Switch logo, for, I think, for maybe $20 cheaper. Um, so, like, for those 
else or, or who do want to you know print some stuff for animal crossing because it's not just pokemon snap it's also animal crossing mm. yeah mario i believe but yeah so there's other things you can print interesting yeah it's interesting i right. like to see where nintendo's putting their money same like and then where they're not putting it into but i won't complain yeah because it's pokemon metro and metro getting... prime <laughs> and that's what they're not that's what they're not putting it <clears throat> um and then but we're getting two new pokemon games by you know by next year we'll have two brand new like or one's like a remastered really but still it's new i'm here for them i hear i'm here for yeah. those remakes because i never played i never played those pokemon so i don't think i got through diamond and pearl because i didn't like it so i yeah. think i have a better experience as like an adult than i did as a kid okay all right well yeah um, yo, Pokemon Don, appreciate yeah. you, appreciate appreciate you coming Thank through. Thank you. As always. Um, oh, and, and open a few packs. Did you did yeah. you hit anything? Did you hit anything good this afternoon? He did. He got the he got the exact Pokemon he wanted. Oof, um, again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he got man. a lot of good stuff today. Oh, Ivan jumped off. Okay, he jumped off already. Yeah. But yeah, <clears throat> wow, Ivan's always winning. I haven't, yeah. I just, guys, he's got I the hands. I know we say that Brandon's got the hands, but he's definitely got the hands. Yeah, Navi's definitely has the, the hands for Pokemon, Pokemon. For sure. Yeah. 100%. For sure. Um, Shout out Nintendo or Pokemon Company specifically. We love you. Oh, sure. Word. Ugh. Pokemon. I wish I was Where playing like that. Where would we be without both? Pokemon? <laughs> nah. You're far too kind. You are far too kind. Sorry if our energy is kind of on the low today. We are very tired, peoples. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm so I'm, I'm tired, so tired yeah. today. It's only like seven o'clock. But um, uh, yeah. do you have anything else to to talk about before we close things out? No, no, <laughs> um, no. Omni Man for president. Okay, Omni Man for president. Um, yo, you know what? Throw a little Xbox news out there. Oh, yeah, Halo yeah. Infinite. Halo Infinite is uh. They announced that it's going to be like cross-play. Uh, oh, I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah. Pro- oh, PC and... Yeah, like PC and, cons- <laughs> and Xbox. Like yeah. Cross-play. And <laughs> and then it's also going to be free, too. The internet portion oh, of that, Halo, yeah. uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and there's a lot of... There's a little bit of speculation on the internet of whether or not they're going to make a it's battle royale oh. for Halo. Oh, I heard about that, too. Yeah. And I think I think they I think they will. Everybody else has a battle royale. Like I was gonna say it's too beneficial for them not to mm-hmm. the, way like, too beneficial. Uh, way too beneficial. Yeah. And that's what kids that's what kids like nowadays. Like they like yeah. battle royales. Um that's why every that's why everyone game that's why every game has one. That's why Apex is mm-hmm. successful, that's why Warzone's popping. Um, Fortnite. Yep, yeah, Fortnite. Um The King. Um, not that it's popping, you guys, just that it's it has battle royale. Yeah. Um Oh, yeah. Although I do be playing like crazy. Throw that out there. And um, yeah, I that's. I think that's interesting. I would like to see it. Yeah. Oh, and I a mean, shout out, game. shout out to the homie, uh, to the homie Golden Boy too, oh, uh, yeah. who's who's a friend of friend of VGA. I forgot to put that on. And and just the, and just got announced as a as a host for E3. Host for E3. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 I think exciting that's really cool. Shout out to him. I know. No, yeah. that's big. Big things. Big things. Goals for Miyamondo, but big things. Yeah, big things. Um, so yeah, shout out to him. Shout out to him for that, and hopefully that that all goes well. Homie's representing. Yeah, I think he's from the Bronx. Watching. I think he's from the Bronx, if I'm not mistaken. Host, Host for G3 for, and yeah, working for and G4. Working for, yeah. yeah, G4. Shout that's out to big, him. That's shout- big, big, big. Yeah, man, that's good for him. Yeah, he's from the hey, Bronx. From the Bronx. Yeah, BX yep. represent. Yep. So shout out to him. Um, I don't know. I think that's that's it. That's, I think that's all I had on my mind. Good. At least you had something on your mind. I didn't. <laughs> it's all right. Dope. It's yeah, right. it is dope. I'm excited for E3 next month. Yep. Announcements um, and announcements and announcements. That's it. Yeah. That's all I'm here for. We're gonna have a lot of shit to talk about on the save point. It's all. Yeah, it's we are. Good for. It's gonna be. That's that's where it's gonna get weird for us because I think like obviously we want to have guests on and things like that but june is such like a a crazy month jam-packed month yeah yeah, it's pride month it's uh like a lot of gaming news Mm -hmm. and so and then you know we don't even know when the my hero movie is coming out so Mm -hmm. it's just a lot gonna be going on for june which is cool for us yeah no we want to remind you guys one more episode until our two-week 
Oh, hiatus. hiatus yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah next week is the last one. And then... Uh, I'll be on vacay. I'll be on yeah. vacay. And I don't make it sound so amazing. Yeah, it is it's gonna amazing. be it is gonna be pretty awesome. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to go to the resort for like two days. Do it. Do it up. You going by yeah. yourself or is your girlfriend going? Nah, I'm going by myself. Oh nice. I'm going with my dad. Actually I'm going with my dad oh. and my brother. <laughs> yeah. And then they're leaving early and I'm staying for another week. And so I'm Good. thinking like during that week, I might mm-hmm. drive to Puerto Plata, which is like mm-hmm. two hours away, and just stay at just stay at a hotel for like two days. And I mean, like, I mean, like two days, like maybe just stay one day Mm -hmm. and then pay for the second day to just be at the hotel, like be at uh, at the resort Mm -hmm. and not actually have a room because they do that, too. And then, like, Mm -hmm. leave like late afternoon and drive back to my grandma's. That'd be nice. Just to get some, you know, relaxation. Yeah, super relaxation. Yeah, I'm thinking about that. Considering it. Yeah. We Uh, approve. Yeah. And listen, I'm moving. You moving? Still moving? Yeah, I'm moving at the end of May. Oh, at the end so of May. Okay. I think the week that you like the weekend that before you get back, I guess. I don't know what day you come back. Oh well, here's here's the here's That's the interesting Saturday. thing because then the next Saturday we're actually gone <laughs> for Memorial Day. Yeah. Uh, so. We thought maybe if anything like we do an episode before that or something. Yeah, maybe like middle of the week or that. Yeah, like middle of the week. Because um, I don't know about that Monday Because I will be getting my COVID shot The day before Oh um, shit Actually, So just in case I'm not like I get, my, I get my COVID shot that Tuesday So that Wednesday may yeah, be like be, Yeah So we'll figure it out Mondo can broadcast Stay point live, on vacation guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should enjoy his vacation guys yeah. I doubt anything really I mean never mind we We'll see we don't, know. we don't know We don't know 100% 100% And Mondo will be like Nah we definitely gotta talk about this yeah. Nah, if Sony put anybody drops something, you know, so if if Nintendo actually wants to, you know, do something, yeah. I think Nintendo's gonna wait until June. Yeah. they're gonna be at E3, so I think they'll wait. Yeah, that's valid. Uh, sipping a my tie on the save point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. I'm actually kind of hyped to be going from like vacation to vacation. Like I come back on Monday, mm-hmm. and then and then we leave to some house in upstate. Uh, yeah. For the weekend, that's gonna be so nice. Jess, you going too, right? Are you going, Jess? How's going? Jess, now? are you going? Jess, are you going? Yeah, I'm actually kind of excited for that. So, um, nice. all right, yo. Yeah, let, she's going. Yeah, let's 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 end the episode and then we can chop it up uh, yeah, post episode. Sure. But yo, um, thanks to everybody who listened uh, mm-hmm. on podcast services or live on Twitch. Um, you can catch us afterwards on YouTube on Mondays. Or on podcast services, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you're currently listening to this, if you're actually listening to it right now. Um, and yeah, um, damn, remember, Omni Man's a good dad. Ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong. He ain't doing nothing wrong. He's just doing his job. And that's what good dads do. Dad. They do their job. They do their job. He's uh, being a dad. They provide. You know what I mean? Uh, anyways, on that note, deuces, y'all. <laughs>